Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I thought I would do a get ready with me. So just, I'm gonna do this like fall inspired makeup look and you guys can, you know, take a seat, bring a coffee, glass of water, whatever you want. I have my water here with me. Pretend you just came over and we're gonna get ready together to go out or do whatever. It's like mid afternoon right now. It's uh, Friday. It's pretty nice out. It's a little bit chilly, but it's also kind of warm. You know, it's beginning of fall. So just have a seat, bring your makeup, and we'll get ready together. And also, I wanted to like introduce this thing in my uh, video today. I don't know like how to like call it or address it because like, I live in Montreal, and I'm bilingual. I speak French and English like fluently, and it's a thing here in Montreal that people just like kind of switch in and out of French and English. So I thought I would do that today with you guys and see if like I don't know just to see what it's like and kind of switch in and out of the language languages just to do that because the thing that I do mostly with like a lot of my friends and like family we just like like switch in and out which kind of maybe seems weird to some people but like if you live in Montreal and if you speak both languages like it's totally a thing that you get so yeah uh, let's get ready so first I'm gonna start off with the Makeup Forever uh, primer this is the hydrating primer step one skin equalizer um, last, was it, yeah, this, like, this week, um, for, like, a, what do you call it, like, a field trip, I went with my class to the Makeup Forever, like, headquarters, I guess you'd call them, like, uh, their, the office, I don't know if it's a headquarters, but it's just, like, their business offer, office, business office, uh, in downtown Montreal on Crescent Street, so I went there with, like, some of, uh, I think we were two classes to go. It was pretty fun. We got to see a lot of the products, and we did get like a discount off of the products, but I mean, it's sad to say, but I, I have so many products that I just, sometimes I'm like, oh, even though it's a discount, I know that like, I literally do not need anything else. I was like, maybe I can get like a new foundation and wait, you know, for winter, so I'll have like a, a, like a heavier one. But I, I, then I realized that I have five foundations right now that like I keep alternating with even though like right now my favorite is still like the Perfect Sony Mia, that's still my favorite one. But I still have like the Too Faced, um, I think it's like a BB cream that I really like every day. It's very sheer and light that I really like. I find this one here is more for like, it's more full coverage for me. I, I kind of like a foundation that feels like a second skin. I don't like a really heavy, thick foundation. So yeah. Um, back to the Makeup Forever. Uh, yeah, it was nice seeing like the the offices and stuff and they had, it looked like they almost had like photo shoots going on or something, but like, not photo shoots, but they had like model type people walking around. I was like, oh, this is very cool. We had like a little demo of some of the products and we got to walk through like one of like this Makeup Forever stores and we could like pick out stuff we wanted to, but I like, Again, I was like, these things are all so lovely and beautiful, but I didn't actually have any need for anything at the moment. Not that that's like ever like really stopped me from buying things, but I was trying to be reasonable. They did have these really beautiful things that I almost got. They're these, they look like loose pigment kind of, but like very, very glittery, almost like, um, not quite glittery, but like very sparkly. They were really pretty, and they had like maybe 15 different colors. And like, I guess the problem was that like I knew if I was going to get some, I wouldn't just get one color. I don't want to get like three or four. And I was like, okay, no, like just. They were very beautiful, but I knew I would use them like once every like eight months. So what's the point in that? Uh, so the mer va aux pommes parce que à chaque année on dirait qu'on attend trop longtemps. Ben il va comme à la fin d'octobre. Puis il n'y a plus de pommes de reste, fait trop frais. C'est ça qu'on a décidé d'aller comme le début, début de cette année. Puis je pense qu'on va aller comme à la rive nord, parce que à Montréal, il n'y a comme pas de pommes. Euh, puis je ne me rappelle pas c'est quoi la, la nom de la place. On a fait deux ans, ça va être comme le deuxième ou troisième année de suite qu'on y va. Sur la rive nord, c'est comme Saint-Jean sur le lac ou comme quelque chose comme ça. Puis il y a une petite boulangerie qui fait euh, du. Euh, Pain aux pommes. Oh, c'est tellement bon. 
Ils font le, comme des morceaux de pommes caramélisés sur le pain puis à l'intérieur. C'est vraiment bon. On va au verger juste pour aller acheter le pain aux pommes. Mais on va acheter des pommes aussi. Je me demande s'il y a d'autres villes où il y a deux langues officielles. Puis le, ben, non, il n'y a pas deux langues officielles à Montréal, c'est le français aussi au Québec, je m'excuse. Euh, mais je me demande s'il y a d'autres villes où il y a plusieurs langues sans parler ici, si, comme. Je sais pas comment dire, comme. Like, you know, here people just like switch in and out of English, like they just like swap in and out. I wonder if there's other cities that are like that, like where. There's just like two dialects maybe or two like really popular popular languages that people just like kind of switch in and out of. But I've really like experienced that elsewhere. Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to think where else that would happen. I don't know. If you know any of these places or if you live in any of these places, let me know. Mais je suis chanceuse du fait parce que j'ai appris l'anglais puis le français comme en même temps, quand j'étais jeune, quand j'avais 4 ou 5 ans, puis ma famille me parlait l'anglais puis le français comme les deux en même temps. Ça fait que j'ai appris les deux. Puis c'est pas avant, c'est comme c'est vraiment comme quand je me rend, quand j'ai devenu adulte que je m'ai rendu compte comment chanceuse que j'étais parce que c'est comme apprendre une autre langue, c'est pas facile. J'ai essayé d'apprendre l'allemand euh, à l'université. J'ai fait un semestre, puis le. Euh, non. Je pense que c'est la paresse. Ça m'intéressait pas d'apprendre des nouvelles règles de grammaire. Puis, euh. Euh, pour les yeux, je vais prendre une palette de Dior. Je l'ai acheté euh, cet été à New York. Puis c'est drôle parce que j'étais dans le, le grand magasin, puis je regardais les collections, puis j'étais comme. J'étais pas sûre si j'allais vraiment acheter ou juste regarder. Puis la fille qui était là, était tellement comme pas agressive, mais c'est comme la vente à pression, j'étais comme oh, ok. C'est que j'ai pris la, la palette pour les yeux, les, les ombres, mais là, j'étais comme ok, je sais pas si j'en mets ça, comme je regrette un petit peu d'acheter, mais là j'ai utilisé, puis les couleurs sont vraiment belles, c'est que c'est comme un petit peu de pression, mais j'ai mis les couleurs quand même. C'est celui-là ici. So for the transition shade, um, I'm not going to use one of the ones in the Dior palette. I'm going to use this one from Chanel. It's called uh, Tissé Vendôme. I'm going to use this color here. Je comprends tellement pourquoi le monde s'installe comme un beauty room. Parce qu'à chaque fois que je veux euh, faire une vidéo, il faut que je déplace comme tous les meubles de la pièce pour que m'arranger avec un petit bureau puis euh, le tripod avec la avec le téléphone. Fait que je comprends pourquoi le monde comme s'installe un beauty room puis tu t'as pas besoin de bouger grand chose et ça reste là. Ça fait que je pense que bientôt je vais me mettre sur ça. On ira à Ikea, on va aller à Ikea bientôt, ça fait que je vais voir. Ah, je regardais sur euh, Etsy pour euh, des décorations de beauty room. Ils ont tellement des belles choses. Mais tu sais comme Like when you're adding to the basket and you just keep adding more and more and more things and you're like, ah, uh, yeah, no, that's okay. But usually what I do is like, when I'm shopping online, I'll just add all the things that I like to the like shopping cart or whatever. And then when I check out, that's when I kind of like do like, it's comme ça que je vais trier, comme je vais comme tout ajouter, puis là à la fin, là je vais trier qu'est-ce que je veux vraiment, puis qu'est-ce que je suis comme, non, c'est beau. Mais vraiment des belles choses. I saw this like this shelf that looked really nice. It was like almost like antique looking. And it was like a shelf to put uh, nail polishes. Like so I could put it like up maybe. Could be a good idea. I don't know. I mean, you'll see if I change anything. Okay. Hmm. So the last few times that I've worn this, I don't think I've done a video for it, but the last few times that I've worn this, I've used more of the pink and purple colors, which was really nice, which I didn't think I would like on me, but I actually do. So this time I think I'm going to go with more of the green and gold. It just seems more fall, you know. 
I'm not sure why, but whenever fall comes around, I always want to watch Gilmore Girls. Like, I've watched the whole... I've, I've watched all of it, like, more than one time. But whenever fall comes around, I just... It puts me in the mood to watch Gilmore Girls. I guess because, like, it's set in New England, and I just think of all, like, the colors changing, and, like, it just seems like the perfect time to watch it, so... That's what I started doing yesterday. And probably what I'm gonna continue doing after I finish this video. So I'm just kind of putting um, this gold kind of everywhere on my lid. And then I'm going to go in with, it's like, and not really, it's kind of green, kind of not copper, but like bronzy, I think. Blend it a bit. This color isn't as dark as I thought it would be. I mean, it's blending out very well, but I just thought it would be much darker. It's still really pretty though. I have some fallout. Oh, no. oh, this eyeshadow palette is called uh, Skyline. Skyline, yeah. It's the Dior 2016 Fall Collection. I didn't get any, like, I didn't get the lipstick or anything else, I just got the um, eyeshadow palette. I've been seeing a lot on Sephora, um, like a lot of like the Christmas gifts already, they're coming out, it seems a bit early. Um, they have a lot of like, the, you know, like the big palettes you can get for eyeshadow and sometimes you get like a little, like I think like Too Faced always comes out with them. You know what I mean, those like giant palettes with like 20 eyeshadows. And they look really nice. I just like, I can't imagine me going through an entire palette. You know, like even like five eyeshadows is hard to go through. It's hard to go through like five eyeshadows even though like there's always gonna be one or two even like more. So I just don't see myself actually using up all the colors even though they're really nice and the packaging is very beautiful. I think it was like Bobbi Brown that recently came out with one. I don't know if you can like get it online or if it's only in the States, but it's like 20 eyeshadows, I think. And I'm like, okay, 20 eyeshadows. Like I can't imagine that every single eyeshadow is gonna look good on you. Like there's warm tones and cool tones, but like most people it, they are either warm or cool. Like they wouldn't look the best in like both of them. So I guess it's just for like the novelty of having it and like unless you're doing like tons of like makeup contracts and you're doing like tons of makeup on different like skin tones and you just need to have all the colors. I guess it's like, yeah, I guess I kind of have a problem with like those like giant makeup palettes, like eyeshadow palettes that are like, oh, we have like 30 or 40 colors and you're like, unless you're a makeup professional who's going to like do tons of contracts and like use up all of these different shades and colors, you probably don't need that. Unless you just like, I don't know, like to collect and, cause I definitely went through a huge like makeup collecting phase. Je sais pas si ça arrive à tout le monde, mais comme, je me rappelle quand j'étais à l'université, j'avais comme peut-être, ben 18, 19 là, début l'université. Puis j'aimais le maquillage, mais je savais pas comment me maquiller. Puis je me maquillais pas vraiment, mais j'aimais acheter le maquillage. Puis j'aimais regarder, puis toucher. Mais je savais pas comment l'utiliser, ça fait que j'avais comme... J'avais toujours une grosse collection de maquillage que j'utilisais jamais. Puis, à un moment donné, j'ai commencé à l'utiliser. À force de regarder des vidéos sur YouTube, j'ai comme appris comment me maquiller. Ben, des vidéos, puis euh, tu sais, uh, trial and error. I feel like people who... Like young people who are getting into makeup now are so much luckier than like we are. Like maybe you, maybe, maybe I'm talking about myself. Like I just mean, like when I was younger and starting doing makeup, I didn't even know you were supposed to like put, I didn't even know you could put makeup on your eyebrows. I didn't know that was a thing. Like there's so many things now that people just do and know to do that just wasn't a thing. Like I didn't, I didn't even know what primer was like for like my face until like several years after I started doing makeup. Like the first thing I learned to do, I guess, was like how to do eye makeup because for some reason I just thought 
like, I don't know, when I was like, remember being young in university and wanted to do my makeup, and I was like, okay, I need to like do my eye makeup. The rest, I was like, I didn't care. I would wear like full eye makeup, no foundation, no concealer, nothing else, just like eye makeup, that's it. I don't know like why I did that or why I thought that was good, but I liked it. So, that's what I did. I remember when I was in the 8th grade, I was like 13, 14 years old. Puis, tu sais, comme j'étais curieuse pour le maquillage, je regardais ça, puis j'avais acheté un bâton de fontaine de Maybelline, tu sais, comme les like, stick foundations, puis je portais juste ça. Je le verrais partout, puis c'est comme ça que je me maquillais. Rien d'autre, rien, non. J'ai fait ça pendant un bout, euh, puis là, après ça, j'ai commencé à me maquiller un petit peu, mais tu sais, je portais pas, j'ai vraiment juste commencé à mettre du maquillage, rendu à l'université, même euh, high school, je portais comme un fard à paupières. Des fois, je mettais du mascara avec, c'est que je mettais du fard à paupières partout, tu sais là, mur à mur. Des fois, je mettais un mascara, des fois non. Des fois, je prenais le crayon noir, puis je faisais comme le contour au complet de l'œil, c'est tout. C'était vraiment, euh... c'est comme ça que je me maquillais. Ah, puis il y avait une phase où j'étais convaincue que j'avais une peau super huileuse, super grasse. C'est vrai que j'avais une peau translucide, c'est qu'à chaque matin, je passe ça partout. Juste comme ça. C'était ça mon maquillage. Euh, ouais. Mais tu sais, au moins, à cette époque-là, c'était avant, euh, avant Facebook, avant Instagram. C'est que, tu sais, tout ton maquillage que tu faisais que t'es super laid, y'a pas grand monde qui va le voir là maintenant. Un mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. C'est une très bonne mascara. J'ai oublié de quoi c'était, mais je n'ai pas utilisé depuis longtemps. Les sourcils. Il y a plein de monde qui font les sourcils avant. Mais tu sais, comme ils font le fond de teint, puis là, ils font les sourcils, puis là, ils font le reste du maquillage. Mais je sais pas pourquoi, mais j'ai toujours eu l'habitude de, de faire les sourcils après le maquillage des yeux. Mais tu sais, je comprends pourquoi tu ferais les sourcils avant, comme pour comme, bien encadrer le maquillage, mais je sais pas, sur moi, Toujours comme un donné que je fais des sourcils. Peut-être aussi parce que. Comme en réalité, ça fait comme 3 ans. Non, 4 ans que je me fais maquiller mes sourcils, mais avant ça, je ne maquillais pas mes sourcils. C'est que tu sais, comme. Devenu comme la dernière étape dans le maquillage, là, c'est avec. C'est là comme avant-dernier. Ok, on va voir si c'est de l'allure, mes sourcils. Ok. Si je, des, si je mets des faux cils, hmm. il y en a un qui a de l'allure maintenant. Il y en a toujours un qui est plus facile à mettre que l'autre. J'ai mis les deux! Yes! Yaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
with another video sometime soon. Okay, bye guys!